Hi guys! Oh, Princess is making an appearance. I guess just her tail is making an appearance. Princess! Princess! I'm gonna have a cat on my lap throughout the duration of this video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna be going over 50 goth slash alternative dark crochet ideas. This is one of my highly requested videos. I tried really hard to find goth and alternative style crochet. I also don't think I'm the best person to kind of determine what's goth and what's alternative, considering that I'm not. So, um, bear with me on that, okay? I did try my best, but if this isn't goth or alternative, I'm sure you will let me know in the comments. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind everybody that everything I say will be listed in the description box in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever I'm showing you. As well as that, I will have all the categories chaptered out into sections on the bottom, so if you want to skip to a certain category, feel free to do that. And if you're running out of media to consume while you're crocheting. Me and Dylan started a podcast, a video and audio podcast, so it's something for you to watch while you crochet. Check it out. I will link it down in the description box below. Go subscribe. Go support us over there. Thank you for subscribing and supporting us over there. Now, this is one of those videos that doesn't have a lot of categories. We have three categories. We've got clothing, accessories, and then miscellaneous, okay? So, I'm going to start with the clothing category. You can do something like a long black lacy type skirt um, or even this crow witch shawl. I thought it was just very Victorian goth style if that hopefully I'm right on that. Um, if you're really just looking for black tops, there's this mesh top tutorial and then this similar style um, wisteria cardigan that's kind of got like this loose crochet feeling to it nothing's really tight, the tension's really loose, which means it probably flows really nicely when it's on you. Um, another thing is this like tight form-fitting black dress, if that's more your style, or even this black halter neck top I thought was really cute and kind of like different than what you usually see when you search crochet tops. Um, and as for like more of a pant. There's these bell bottom type pants, which I thought would be really cute in like this deep red color that she's wearing or in like a black or dark gray. And then getting more into spider web. I did have some spider webs in the mix of this video. So there's this spider web top tutorial. If that's your jam, you can make it in white or black or whatever color. And then um, you can even do freehanding crochet like this girl did freehanded long sleeve like I like how that looks but there's not really a pattern for it you really just go with the flow do what fits do what how you want it to look you know what I mean that's why it's called freehanding so there won't be a pattern for that one and you can make this pentagram top or even this more um basic lace kind of tank top and then you can even make skirts like alternative skirts I'm, I'm thinking like skirts kind of like this in like different kind of colors or um with docks and even like there's leg warmers somewhere in this video there's going to be a leg warmers too but something like that just gives very like gothy alt you know depending on the colors and the way you style it and then you can make this top that's black um with the flowers or this dress which it's very like obviously in addition to something else that you would have underneath it but just the detail on this it just gives very kind of gothic not gothic but dark whimsical kind of dressy vibes or even this mesh bell sleeve dress I really like or if you don't want a full-on dress you can just do like these bell sleeves only without the rest of the dress part um, and then you can even do this spiderweb top or this bat top which I thought was super cute especially with Halloween coming up and then this same creator also created a shrug pattern to go with this bat top so there's that and then this is like a ribbed like ripped distressed kind of top which this I know is going to be freehand and it's very just go with the flow skip stitches add stitches skip stitches chain here skip here kind of thing so if you're comfortable doing freehand then I definitely suggest doing something like this and that's all we have for clothing, so let's jump right into accessories. 
So for accessories, we have these thigh-high waist fishnet stockings tutorial, or even this cute choker that you can add like a pendant to. I thought that was cute. Or even this crochet bundle, which is like a collar also with like wrist. I don't know what they're called. They're not gloves, but they're also not like wristlets if that makes sense but these things whatever they're called um you can also make these skull thigh highs or these kind of thigh highs that are more they look free form crocheted um putting the holes wherever you want them and then something oh cuffs that's what they're called so something else another cuff another cuff pattern here and then there's also these skull gloves if skulls are your thing or you can even make this just got stitched up choker to go with whatever you're wearing. Or if skulls are really your thing, there's a skull shawl you can make. Um, and then, as I mentioned earlier, with the skirt that I showed you earlier, these um, leg warmers, really any type of leg warmer, you can make leg warmers that are tighter, leg warmers that kind of like flow out over like outward kind of like a bell bottom over your shoes or even add some ribbon like this girl did around her sides to kind of make it more accessorized and not like just leg warmers um and then there's this basic fishnet stocking tutorial for you so if you're really into fishnets and then here's another pineapple bead lace um choker crochet tutorial and then i have two more crocheted chokers for you. I have this one that has kind of like a ribbon weaved through it, which I think is cute, especially for like tightening and loosening. Um, and then there's this other choker, which I wanted to show as an example of being able to put like multiple pendants on it to not just be yarn. You can also add pendants to these things. And then there's these kind of like webbed style gloves to also add to our accessory category. And that is all I have for accessories. So let's go ahead and move into our last category, which is the miscellaneous category that basically captured everything that didn't fit in clothing or accessories. Okay, so for miscellaneous, I have this coffin style bag tutorial. I guess it's a bag. It kind of looks more like an apron if that's, you know, if that's something you want to use it for, but it's like a coffin style bag or this doily pattern which i thought was really cute and i know a ton of you have commented about wanting me to do like a doily exclusive exclusive 50 crochet ideas like doily version which i will because after i saw this i was like oh that would be really cute also i want to crochet something like this like doily style because i haven't and i know like that's one of like the roots of crocheting so i think i gotta make something like that but Anyways, there's this like skull in a coffin kind of doily and then you can make a spider or you can even make a goat skull, which I thought was very cool, which I'm actually going to be making one of these to put in my room. Um, and then there's these skull like um, coasters for your room or your apartment or whatever. And then there's these cute little, I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're like the little horned, I don't think they're Satans. What are they called? Like horned goats? I don't know, with the little pentagram on the forehead, these little dudes, okay, you can make these little guys in whatever colors, and then there's uh, pentagram coasters, and I know that pentagrams and goth don't necessarily go together, but I also think goth is like a huge spectrum, and some people who identify as like a goth person might utilize pentagrams in their decor or in their outfits, but I know that that's more of like a witchy thing. With that being said, I also have seen a lot of goth people use pentagrams so i'm adding it to the video and i don't want to hear anything about it so there's the pentagram coasters and then there's this other spider pattern that's like kind of cute i like these spiders more if i'm being you know honest then there's this little grim reaper which i've actually made this before as a gift and i'll try and find a picture of it here and i'll put it up but this grim reaper pattern is so cool and then someone also made they, um, I forgot what they're called, but you know, the little things you steer with on like a Ouija board. Someone made a pattern for those. And then you can even make this snake, which I thought was really cool and a really good opportunity as like a prop for Instagram photos. You know what I mean? If you don't want a real snake on you, I think that'd be really cute. Or you can make this voodoo doll, um, which I thought was cool or this crow because i know crows are like really big right now so there's a crow and then a crochet skull bookmark if you're someone who's goth and likes to read there you go and then um this one is a 13 
pack of beautifully gothic crocheted doilies. So doilies turned gothic, okay? So there is your, if you're a doily lover and you're one of those people in the comments talking about doilies, there you go. I got a 13 pack for you. And that concludes our 50 goth slash alternative slash dark crochet ideas that are beginner friendly with a few advanced sprinkled in there. Uh, like always, everything I said will be listed in the description box below in the order that I said it, linked to a free or paid written or video tutorial so that you can go make whatever I showed you. And with that being said, every picture I showed you is in a cohesive little bundle on pinterest if you want to if you have pinterest and you want all the pictures or you want to see the original stuff that it all links to um go for it click the pinterest board go check it out uh, other than that don't forget to go check out mine and dylan's podcast linked in the description box we post every thursday at noon if this video was helpful like subscribe okay if you made it all the way to the end of the video and you're not subscribed what are you doing if you're one of those people who are watching my videos every week, multiple times a week, and you're still not subscribed, what are you doing? Just hit the subscribe button, okay? It supports me. It's free. It takes like one second, if that, okay? So subscribe to my channel. Other than that, if there's a video that I haven't done before you and you're waiting for me to do or you haven't seen on the internet, comment it down below and I will add it to the never-ending list of videos that I am getting through. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye!